Hey guys, it's Dana. Welcome back to Decorate with Dana and welcome to video number two in my Christmas tree decorating series. So if you didn't see the first one, I'm gonna link it up, in, up above in the cards and I'll link it down below in the description box. But I decorated my entryway tree and I love it. It turned out so beautiful. It is very neutral though and um, I did it kind of almost like old fashioned vintage inspired. It has little vintage gold bells and soft um, like champagne colored satin ribbon bows on the branches and some green bulbs and gold. I love it. It's super serene. It's super calming. It's what you see when you first walk in the front door. But as promised, I was going to do, I think, one, two, three other trees. So this is my main family room tree and a little sneak peek. You can see that there is some color back there. So I'm gonna show you how I decorated this tree. So this tree I'm gonna kind of call traditional rustic, I think, um, and did add lots of pops of red. And so last year my decorating style was super neutral everywhere. And although I loved it, I am excited to have some red back. It really feels so festive and so much like Christmas. And I like that every room is just a little bit different, but I think they still flow together nicely or that they will. They're not all decorated yet, but that's the plan. Hopefully they'll flow together nicely. So we, I'm going to show you how I decorated this tree. This tree I purchased from Home Depot. Last year was the first year we used it. I love it. I'll talk a little bit more about that, but I will have that tree linked down below. And then anything I can link, I will. A lot of it I already had. Um, but anyways, let's get started with decorating this traditional rustic Christmas tree. Okay, so a little trick to get your tree to look a little fuller um, with ornaments is to zip, or not zip tie, um, to use one of these pipe cleaners and tie three or ornaments together. Then when you place them on the tree, it takes up a bigger area and just makes it look a little fuller. Now, I do also hang individual ornaments on there, but I do like to add these groups of three to really make it pop and to fill up more space on the tree. So, so you'll see, I, I'm i gonna do three of the same ornaments right now, but you can do different ones also. They don't all have to be the same. You just string your pipe the bulbs on your pipe cleaner. One, two, and then the other one. And then you literally just take your pipe cleaner and kind of tie them together. And then you'll be placing this on the tree and that will fill up more area. And I just like to use pipe cleaners. You can probably use whatever you want, but then this just hooks right onto the branch. Okay, so I got this tree from Home Depot last year. It is absolutely beautiful. So you can do white lights, you could do colored lights, you can do twinkling, flashing, fading in and out, um, both with color or white. Um, or you can do color changing where it goes from white to color. I love the white. Most of us love the white, but my other daughter loves the colored. So it, it's nice to have the option to be able to switch it in and out whenever you want. This is a nine foot tree. I will link it down in the description box. Um, it was pretty reasonably priced for being a nine foot tree. Like I'm, we're super happy with it. And um, yeah, so anyways, I am going to start decorating this. So this one, if the other one that I showed you the other day was a little too neutral, this is going to be much more traditional, um, rustic, I would say. I'm gonna be putting a lot of red berry picks, a lot of um, pine cones, and then I'm going to be doing the, ball, the Christmas bulbs. And yeah, just kind of going from there and we'll see. I don't think I'm gonna be doing any garland or anything. Uh, but we will find out. I really want to load it down with a lot of berry picks first.
Okay, so I will definitely have more picks to put in here, but I'm gonna put it on hold for a minute and I'm going to go in with these really big bulbs that are from Walmart and really fill in the gaps in the tree. Put them in towards the base so it kind of covers up the trunk and makes it look just a little bit fuller. Okay, so now I have my trio of bulbs and what this does is just fill in a bigger area rather than individual bulbs hanging everywhere. It just really kind of fills in the area a lot. The Christmas lights fill the city There are people Snow is falling white and pretty as I stroll on my way to you. How will you feel about packing up today? 
guys here is how the tree came out wow it's just amazing it's like so much different than what i did last year and yet i absolutely love it and it just feels like christmas to me so the biggest thing with this is the added berry picks. I added a lot and a lot of different ones. I've got really big ones. I've got smaller ones over here. I have different shades of red from burgundy to, um, you know, brighter red. I absolutely love, love this tree this year. Um, up at the top, I just did the dramatic kind of picks all spraying out. I just love the way that that looks. And then I added a lot of white ornaments in there also. The trio of three bulbs is such a great trick because it just really takes up a lot of space. But you can see I use different bulbs, um, not necessarily all the same ones. This particular one is all the same ones. I love the way that it sits on the tree. These are some white and silver ones. And then I added in some of these little pine cones and then uh, like the silver and white ones but then i also added real pine cone um, sprays or picks in here also and i just love the natural feel of it the kind of organic feel of this tree this year it's so so pretty at night i'm going to insert a clip to show you what it looks like at night if i didn't already but i just love it and then i added in a few of just these kind of frosted branch picks also just to kind of mix it up but this is to me, like I said, a rustic traditional tree. And yeah, that's about it for what I did. I didn't use a lot of like real playful kind of ornaments, just some simple bulbs, but mostly the berry picks and the pine cone picks are what are really making the tree this year. And then down here, this tree skirt is really pretty. I did get it from Walmart. It is the My Texas House one. And so it is reversible. You saw me try both sides. So I have this blanket underneath to kind of give it a little bit more puffiness. So you can try either side. I tried them both. I think I like this side for now. So I'm gonna leave it, but I can always switch it up. So I love this. I think that this tree turned out really pretty. The tree in my entryway is much more serene and subtle. This is much more traditional and Christmas. And I love them both equally the same, but I'm happy I decided to add some color this year. I did do all neutrals throughout the whole house last year. And although I did love it and I thought it was beautiful, it does just feel a little bit more like Christmas to me, adding in just a little bit of these deep red colors. So I have now shown you a kind of an old-fashioned vintage inspired neutral kind of christmas tree and now i've shown you what i'll call a traditional rustic christmas tree and i still have two other styles that i will be showing you here very shortly so i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope it gave you a little bit of decorating inspiration if you are new I, and you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Tons and tons and tons more decorating inspiration coming up. And also follow me over on Instagram at Decorate with Dana. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.